My name is Chris Killam, and I'm a medicine hunter. I travel around the world investigating uh, beneficial plants of all different kinds, from the so-called superfoods to the psychedelics. About 300,000 Americans die every year from the proper use of over-the-counter and prescription drugs. And most years, not one single soul dies in the United States from using herbs. So herbs are unquestionably safer. Uh, and my opinion is that instead of looking to potentially toxic or fatal pharmaceuticals for answers to our health needs, unless you're talking about uh, needing an, uh, you know, an anti-infective because you're undergoing surgery, uh, then my preference is to turn to nature to turn to the foods, as Hippocrates said, let your food be your medicine. I did my graduate uh, work on ayahuasca. I went to Peru in 1981. I did about half a year of field work. And I was collecting plants, talking to curanderos, and investigating the botany and the chemistry and the pharmacology of ayahuasca. I think it's true for some people in some conditions that many people tell me that an intense evening of self-exploration using ayahuasca is like 20 years of therapy in one night. So that's the thing. It's something that enables people to focus on their inner selves, what problems they may have, get some insights into their psychodynamics, if you will, and work, work through things that, uh, you know, takes a lot of therapy to do. My opinion from working with the plant medicines of Central and South America for decades now is that there's a rich, rich uh, natural pharmacy available to us uh, that can help us with almost every health need. Mainstream science, which has dismissed psychedelics for a long time, is now being forced to to take it quite seriously because now there's good science going on. Clinical studies that show that things like ayahuasca and psilocybin and MDMA are good for mental problems like depression and PTSD and alcoholism and, and uh, opiate addiction and all sorts, of, all sorts of mental illnesses. And these are very effective. I think we're in a renaissance, and now doctors and pharmacists and other healthcare providers are trying to figure out how to blend and marry uh, natural remedies with existing conventional medicine uh, in, a, in a way that they're referring to as complementary medicine. I don't think we've seen the beginning of this. I think we have a long, long, long way to go, and it's just going to get bigger.